Good day, everyone. Today we will learn about group frequency distribution. We will also explore how to transform data using Jamovi. The stories and problems presented in this video lecture are purely fictional. Any resemblance to real persons, living or dead, or actual events is purely coincidental. The interpretations, analyses, report writing, citations, and resources provided are intended solely as examples for educational purposes. Research writers are advised to adhere to the specific formats, templates, and styles of writing required by their institutions or publishers. Additionally, it is strongly recommended to consult reliable and accurate references to ensure the integrity and credibility of their work. Researchers are advised to exercise due diligence to verify the veracity of the content and consult other references. Group frequency distribution is a method to organize and summarize data by grouping it into intervals or classes and counting the number of data points in each class. Here is a sample pseudocase. Utopia National High School studied whether reviewing recorded video lectures at home could improve final exam scores. They collected data from 25 students focusing on the hours spent reviewing over four weeks and their exams results. Displayed on your screen are the frequency descriptions for the number of hours spent watching a video lectures along with their corresponding descriptions. On the right side of the table, you will find the final exam scores and their descriptions. Here are the possible research questions. For now, we will just focus to answer research questions 1 and 2. Displayed on your screen is a data set of 25 students detailing the number of hours spent watching recorded video lectures over four weeks and their corresponding final exam scores. Here's how you will analyze the data using Jamovi. Open Jamovi and here's how the Jamovi screens looks. Encode the data. Change column A to the variable name. Video review. Encode the data for the final exam and change column B to the variable name final exam. Click on the Analysis tab, Exploration, and then select Descriptives. Click on the variable Video Review, then click the right arrow to move it to the second box. Click on the other variable, Final Exam, then click the right arrow to move it to the second box. Click the Data tab. Click Transform. This second column will duplicate the content of column 1, which will be the transform variable box. Click the arrow down in the using transform box. Select create new transform. Click add recode condition. Enter the condition here. In this example, our condition will be as follows. We will start with less than equal 10 and the description very rarely and then continue with additional conditions in a similar manner. This is the condition. The description will appear in the second column. Click add recode condition again. Enter the second condition here. Here is the second condition. As you can see, the duplicated column or column 2 contains the descriptions. Continue adding record condition until you reach the second to the last condition. Here are the conditions up to the second to last condition. The last condition will be specified in the else use section. Here is how it will appear. Let's repeat the same process for the final exam variable. Click 
transform, make sure that the active cell is in the third column. Click the arrow down using transform box. Select create new transform. Click add recode condition. This will be our condition for the final exam. Scores of less than or equal to 60 have the description of low. Here is our first condition for the vinyl exam scores. Continue clicking add recode condition until the second to the last condition. Just as shown on your screen. The last condition will be specified in the else use section. The transform variables will be look like this. Click analysis. Frequencies, independent samples. Move the variables into the rows and columns. In this example, video review variable to rows and video review transform one to columns. It will look like this. Click cells. Check the row under percentage. Results appears here. Please take note of the descriptions or scale. In this example, these are very rarely, rarely, until very often. Then scroll it down. These are now the data for the group frequency table. Let's review our research questions. Let's see what is the possible research table for question number one. Here is the possible research table presentation. Please note that the frequency and percentage were derived from the contingency table. The mean and standard deviation were obtained from descriptives table. Decimal places were adjusted in the settings, which can be found on the right side of the screen in the movie, under the kebab menu. Repeat the same process for the second variable and its transform variable. Click Analysis, Frequencies, Independent Samples. Move the variables into the rows and columns. In this example, Final Exam, Rows and Final Exam, Transform 2 to Columns. Click Cells. Check the row under percentage. Results appears here. Please take note of the description or scale. In this example, these are low, acceptable, good, very good, and excellent. Then scroll it down. These are now the data for the group frequency table. Let's review our research questions. Let's see what is a possible research table presentation for question number two. Here is the possible table presentation for research question two. Please note that the frequency and percentage were derived from the contingency table. The mean and standard deviation were obtained from the descriptive table. Thank you. I truly hope you found this lecture informative.